Oh my god, we're racing like the side. Does anyone else realize we're on the side of a mountain? Oh god, don't knock me off. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into MotorStorm. Which fun fact? See that motorcycle helmet icon there? I believe that is my profile picture icon for my PS4 account, which I just selected because you know when you make a profile, they sometimes make you select an icon. I just looked for one that looked kind of cool, and that one looked cool to me. And when I so we're playing the demo here today, when I installed the demo. And the, the icon came up. I was like, whoa, wait, what the heck? And uh, I had to pause for a second and realize that that's where I got. I, so apparently I'm a big MotorStorm fan, guys. Didn't even know it. Today we're playing MotorStorm, as I've already said. It is, uh, we've played MotorStorm Pacific Rift, I think, on the channel before. This is the OG original MotorStorm. And I believe, someone can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe it might have been a downloadable only uh, PSN game for its time. Again, I've got the demo here, so um, all we can do is play. None of, those, none of those other options were even available to me. And uh, usually in demos, you get one or two tracks. And, you know, frankly, I've said this many times. You know, whatever you think of a game, if the developers actually put out a demo, I am like all for it these days. I have my, my, my full support. It's, you know, when I was a kid, it's like every game had a demo. You were able to try games before you bought them, which meant they had to be pretty good. Nowadays, I feel like they don't really let you have demos. But of course there are, you could go watch a Let's Play if you are curious uh, and see if you'll like a game that way. So I guess they don't need demos so much anymore. I still like a world where demos are a thing. I don't know about you guys. And if you guys know what Shareware is, Shareware was like the ultimate demo. It was sort of like, here's a third of the game. Enjoy. And if you like it, pay us money. We'll give you the rest. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some racing here today. Um, I don't, I, I can't select anything. Okay, so we're just racing the, the one track. Um, oh, I do have an option here of something. I can select some things. I don't know what any of these are. I'll just select one. Okay, accelerate. I do appreciate a game where the load screen actually tells you what the buttons do. So accelerate, boost, handbrake. Ain't gonna need that. I'm just kidding. We might actually need that. Rear view, look around. Never in my life have I played a racing game. Some of them have a button where you can like look behind you and stuff. I've never literally used that in my life. I don't know how other people do it. I don't know if you think in four dimensions or something, but when I'm driving, you know, at high speeds, trying to win a race, I don't have time to look behind me. And frankly, if somebody's there, what am I gonna do about it? Oh, there's somebody right behind me. Well, I guess I'll race better now. Like just ra race as good as you can and don't worry about it, you know? That's what I always say. Whoa, oh, we landed on somebody. Oh, we tipped somebody over. This is okay, I like it. I like it. I like a good, uh... Oh my god, we're racing like the side- Does anyone else realize we're on the side of a mountain? Oh god, don't knock me off! Oh god! I do kind of want to drive off the side of that mountain just to see what will happen, but I also kind of want to win the race. But you know what, we're 12th. So when in Rome, baby! <laughs> They're like, he just took the ultimate shortcut. God's shortcut. Nobody comes back from that. And I think, I think we just blew up. Then we just casually die. I don't think they let you race on the side of a mountain. I know some racetracks are perilous. I know people have died racing, but... Um, okay, that was super slow-mo. Let's restart this race. We'll give it a good... There's, there's a Chinook helicopter in the background. Do you guys see that in the upper right corner? What the heck? Who are we? What kind of racing established? This is a semi, it's a paramilitary racing ensemble of trucks and uh, tanks, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the backstory here is. I'm just gonna try and not fall off the mountain a second time. I think last time I just hit a rock and that's what did me in. How embarrassing. Oh, that guy just went, that guy just, he, did, he pulled a J. That guy pulled, he straight up pulled a J. Oh, look at this. From 12th to 1st. Okay. Where does the road go, though? 
We're like coming up to a blind turn on like a mountain. It looks like a ledge. Like we're gonna fall to our death. Uh, am I on a road? Where am I supposed to go? I'm just gonna keep following this mountain and hope I don't die. Is this the way to go? Oh, that guy came out from the pit. Okay. I don't know. I didn't know you could drive down there. Um, this reminds me of, if any of you guys know California, there's the Highway 101, or the Highway 1, is, uh, a coastal road that, uh, okay. I'm having a real hard time following the road here. Oh, God, no! No! Oh! Okay, whatever. You know, we were first for a while, I had a taste of first place, that's all I wanted. I, I don't want to showboat here and, like, actually place. That would be downright pedestrian of ya. Okay, but maybe we'll try and boost our way up here. Whoa, we're boosting really fast! Oh, God! Oh, my car's on fire! Or I am boosting. Boost! Am I passing the finish line right now? I can't even tell. If this was burnout, my car would explode right now and take all these suckers with me. Don't think I can do that, though. Oh, th that was lap one of three. We have three more of those things to do? Two more, I guess? Anyway. Um, uh, okay, California, the, uh... Oh god, Route 101, Coastal Highway. It's obviously not as extreme as this, but it is like driving on the side of a mountain at times. Oh god. And, uh, I've done it once in my life. I'll never do it again. I, you know, a lot of people when they drive by that highway, they're like, wow, look at the coast and like... You're driving on the side of a cliff at various points, and it's like so beautiful. And the locals are zooming by you at 80 miles an hour because they just want to get home. Meanwhile, me, I've got like both hands on the steering wheel, clenching it for dear life. <laughs> like promising uh, that I will live a good life if I somehow survive this journey. Going like 40 miles per hour, everybody's honking at me, passing me. I'm like, you crazies are going to get us all killed. Um. That's what this game reminds me of. I think what I re remembered from this game is you could boost as much as you want, but eventually you'll explode if you boost too much. And I just sort of experienced that. I thought the longer you boosted, the cooler the boosts got. That's why I was like, oh look, I'm on- it's- it's on fire, and it's, you know, uh, huge jets of fire, like, burning out from behind me and stuff. No, that's a bad thing. I thought my boosts were getting upgraded because I was holding it so much. No, they were- they were getting, like, worn out. Like, see, this looks cool to me. The boosting right now, but it's very dangerous boosting, so I'll cool it down. Even with all my screw-ups, we're still fourth. And hey, there's the Chinook. I only know Chinook helicopters could because of, uh, Command & Conquer. Whoa, bamboosed! Final lap, baby! Oh god! They yeah, saved me! I exploded. Remember me as a guy who really liked to race on the side of a mountain. Is he gonna respawn me? We're just burning time here. Hello? Okay, thanks. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Alright, we got some- we got our work cut out for us. So yeah, this game does remind me a lot of, uh, Burnout, which is a, a game series that I really love. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I wish it let us fall all the way down, frankly. Like, if you're gonna throw me off the side of the mountain, at least give me the thrill of the fall. Don't just cut it off. What a tease that is. Um, but yeah, it's very Burnout-ish. How you're doing all these, like, crazy jumps and stuff, and you can mash other cars. The only thing that I, I feel like is missing. This almost could be a burnout game. Except in burnout, you actually can, like, wipe out your opponents. And it doesn't fully destroy them, they just respawn like you do. But there's, like, a sadistic satisfaction in being able to smash and sabotage and destroy your opponents. And, uh, we're kind of missing that here. Let's live life on the edge. Drive straight on the side of that mountain there. Okay, if I could knock a few of these guys off the edge... We'd be set. Oh, they're trying to do the same to me. I see how it is. No honor among thieves, eh? Speaking of which, I saw the Honor Among Thieves D&D movie recently, and I quite enjoyed it. I 
specifically had not gone out of my way to watch it because, uh, you know, the reputation of the D&D 90s movie with uh, Jeremy Irons, who great actor, but that movie was just uh, apparently awful. I've only ever seen clips of it. I've never truthfully given it a shot, but you know, its reputation precedes it. It is not known as a good movie. And so when I saw the trailers for the D&D movie with Chris Pine, I thought, eh, eh. You know, I'm not super interested. It did look kind of funny, but I just don't trust trailers. Trailers can make any movie look sort of interesting. Plus, I wasn't sure, like, do we need a lighthearted D&D movie? I always thought a really cool idea for a D&D movie would be one that almost breaks the fourth wall, where, like, it's a D&D movie, but it's taking place inside of people, like, high schoolers who are playing a D&D game. And you don't have to go to, to the extreme of having, like, parallel storylines or anything, but you can do it kind of like the Lego movie. How it's like the Lego movie is mostly focused on Emmett, but there is this hint that there's something beyond the Lego world, and eventually you do see it. And it's like, whoa, the Lego movie is a kid just playing, you know? So something like that I think could have worked for D&D. They didn't go that route. Instead, they just produced an awesome, fun, carefree adventure movie that I, I really enjoyed. And... Um, wasn't the best movie I've ever seen in my life, but it was entertaining. It was well done. It was satisfying. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I, I was kind of, after I watched it, I was like, wow, they're going to make tons of these, aren't they? Then I looked it up, and it uh, didn't do so well financially, so they may never make a sequel. So, if so, that's quite sad. Um, but yeah, check it out. I don't know if, you, if, if you're on the fence about it or something. Uh, Honor Among Thieves D&D movie. I definitely recommend it. And maybe if enough people watch it at this point, they will make more of them. Who knows? But I don't know how we got it on the Dungeons & Dragons sound, uh, sidetrack here from a MotorStorm game. But now they're doing the hard sell. This is like when you go in for a timeshare meeting. You get the fun stuff, and then they put you in for the hard sell. We got the play game, and then you got like five screens of like, buy this, do this, commit, money down, now! Get out of it anytime you want. Timeshares have got to be the stupidest thing you can invest in. I'm sorry if anyone out there owns a timeshare, but it's just, it's like generally known that it is terrible. A terrible thing to be spending your money on, and you're going to get locked into that thing forever. Your grant, your, your children's children's children are going to be paying off that thing. Um, so don't buy a timeshare is what I'm saying. We'll be Mohawk, Indiana. I don't... I don't know what any of those things are doing. Were we selecting different riders or different tracks? Do the riders have different statistics? Who knows? It does tell you here, you know, if we're going to be honest about it, it did say in the title screen that if you hold the boost too long, you will explode. I just don't read the warnings until after the damage is done. Hey, why do they get cars and I get a motorcycle? Can I... What is this? This doesn't seem like a fair race. Um, they're gonna kill me. They're going to kill me. Okay, luckily the motor- all the motorcycle guys are like, Let's get the hell out of here, guys! I don't know, they're racing us with cars. Any of you guys realize this? It's news to me! They're gonna kill us all! Motorcyclists. Whoa, God! <laughs> they- we- three of us, four of us were all falling off at once. Do we have parachutes? I hope so. The cars are racing to see who can come in first. The motorcyclists are racing to see who can not die. <laughs> and I'm doing poorly. Okay, hold on. I want to restart this race. Not that I expect we'll do so much better, but... I don't want to start off doing horrible. Let's have, like, at least one lap be decent. Oh, God. Alright, we're gonna restart this. I feel like I want to road rage and punch the other cyclist in the face for road rash. What was that old game? You had like pipes and chains and stuff. You could like literally punch people in the face as you were racing on your motorcycle. Yeehaw! Okay, now, do the motorcycles have an advantage in this game? That's what I want to know. Oh, God! Oh, God! I think another cyclist was falling off just as I went. It is really hard to turn. Okay. It's like you just don't have the grip that a car does. It's hard to explain. I'm gonna try going up this ramp here. Boost, baby, boost! 
Oh god. Okay, that worked, sort of. Somehow we're third. I'll take it. Okay, where is everybody? What happened to the screen, by the way? Am I bleeding out? Or is it just, like, sunset time? Okay, we seem to be doing decent. I think this is the first and second place guy. Although the third place guy keeps catching up to me. Oh god, oh god! No! <laughs> Wrong way. You think I'm falling off a mountain? I'm, I'm literally in free fall on a mountain. Didn't think that was the correct way to go. Oh my goodness, you know what? I went to pause the game and uh, I think I quit. <laughs> I guess you can't pause the game. Uh, no, it's okay. You know what? We weren't, it's not like we were doing so hot. We'll try one more time. Let's be the motorcycle in... I was gonna say black, but I think it's more dark green. Whatever, let's run with it. It's close enough, frankly. We're gonna be the dark, mysterious... ...rider. Yeah, so it's like, motorcycles are weird. They don't seem to have the top speed that cars have. And they definitely don't have the grip, but they're kind of minute. I, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't put my finger on like... They do feel to have like a little bit of an advantage, but I just, I can't fully gauge it. But uh, my boost is charging. Three, two, one, now I can boost. Oh God. Oh, that guy, what? <laughs> he jumped off me. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, if I get run over by a car, that is just like the ultimate. My guy died. He died hardcore. Oh god, ow. Oh god, oh! I think he did that on purpose. I think he was trying to do a show jump right off the cliff there. Well, we're not doing so hot, frankly. I mean, we are 12th. Okay. One more restart. I mean, we only have two tracks. Might as well milk it for all it's worth. So if they actually did have this race, I feel like there would just be a lot of fatalities, and, uh... This thing, you'd see, like, one, one season of this kind of racing, and then it would be shut down by the lawyers. And, uh, estates. God damn it, that... Okay, hold on, one more try. It's, you know what, that... One spot is, like, actually really, really precarious for motorcycles, but if you can get past it, I think it's not too bad. Oh god, I'm like riding on this guy's wheel here. Okay, if... I cannot get killed... ...for the next... ...five... ...seconds. Oh, there we go! That's what I wanted to do this whole time. Honestly, I had to take my, uh, my hand off the gas. Okay, oh, okay. You know what, that's okay. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Damn it! I was going for- did you guys see I was going for that ramp? I thought we were gonna make it, and instead this is what happened. Okay, I was first. I just want to point that out briefly. Oh, this car's gonna land on me. I shook it off. Okay, out of my way, pink car. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, well, somehow we got to fourth, though. So that's the thing. I'm gonna boost till I almost explode, baby! Let's go for it, boys. Jesus. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think the boost... Blew, I, it looked like it blew up my crotch. Let's just say if you're riding a, an engine that's about to explode, you don't want it between your legs. Oh, God. <laughs> Fire explosion. Alright, you know what? It is what it is. I don't think we're definitely... we're. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm just all over the place and just exploding and we're not making any progress here. Should I do two more laps of this? It just seems like, uh, ridiculous at this point. Okay, if I can somehow get back into first in the next lap, I'll finish it. Ooh, that was a fun jump. I'll finish it up. But I feel like I'm just ping-ponging around making very little progress, exploding, and we've retried like four or five times, I just can't get the hang of it. So this seems like uh, an off-road version of Burnout, 
without the specific ability to kind of destroy your opponents, but I mean, you certainly can knock them out, but it's just, in Burnout, you're supposed to. And this one, you're not not supposed to, but it's not, like, designed around giving you extra points when you do it. Like, in Burnout, when you knock somebody out, you know, you get extra points, they show a slow motion replay of that person dying, like, it, you're supposed to be killing people in Burnout. In this, it's like, eh, you happen to kill someone, Nobody's going to lose sleep over it, but uh, I don't know about supposed to. Let's boost up here. You know, we are actually... Never mind. I was about to say we're doing better. Cursed my... I jinxed myself. Look, 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 my body's just falling from the sky here. At least it's not just me. I guess that's how... You know, like, I feel like I'm doing terrible. Um, and I feel like, oh man, like, how am I not last? But if you look at it, literally every some everyone else, the computer players, are just exploding themselves. So it's not like anyone's doing particularly good. We're almost in first place again, except we're off the mountain. Yee! Ah. If there are any villages at the bottom of this mountain, they must hate these races because it just means their fields and stuff. I'm, I'm falling for a long time. That guy was like. He was into it. He was doing acrobatic moves in the air there, flourishes. He's like, if I die, I'm dying in style. But yeah, all those farmers' fields at the bottom of this mountain got to be full of motorcycles and dead racers at this point. Even from this single race. We've only ever raced this mountain once, and it's still full of all the dead. It's like the Hunger Games of racing. They're like, yeah, we could have picked a safer track, but frankly, forget it. Oh, man! Oh, I killed- I snapped my neck. I thought I would sneak under it. I did not. Alright, sixth position. So we got into second. That means I'll finish this one last lap. Just to say we did it. Then no one can ever judge me. Yeehaw! So yeah, it, it's this interesting mashup of Burnout and stuff, but it's obviously more of like an off-road racer. I think it's a good game. I remember having fun with the, uh, oh god, the Pacific Rim version. I can't believe we survived that. Oh, and then we exploded because of boosting too much. God damn it. Um, I remember enjoying the Pacific Rift version. I think that one had monster trucks as well. Oh god. And I think that that one... The tracks... I don't know, I seem to remember it was a little more straightforward. This one feels very deadly. That guy's dying. That guy just fell past us. He was on his way out, too. Even, even after all that, we're sixth, fifth... Might even be fourth very shortly. Yeehaw! So let's do this. Boost, boost, boost! Fourth. Gotta cut this corner tight, man. Okay, here's the third place guy. Oh, we got him. Second place is right up here. Saving my boost strategically. Okay, boost, boost, boost! Boost! Oh god, we're in the red. Gotta lay off the boosting. Boost! Oh, we got to second! Oh man, I almost boosted until I exploded there. It's so tempting to just keep boosting. Oh no, I hit a rock! Boost! Where are we going? Where's the road? Oh god, that's not the road! Boost! Anyway! <laughs> Maybe it'll work out! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! We exploded over the finish line, at least. We were second, man! You know what was the fatal flaw there? Is I didn't know where the road was, so I... <laughs> I didn't know where to go. Also, I like how first, second, third is all car, 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 car. And then it's like the motorcycles are all last. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and look, my guy just... Oh, I thought he was driving off a cliff for funsies. Motorstorm here, one of the games of the book, a thousand of video games is play before you die. It is the one that started in the Motorstorm series, which, to be fair, has had a lot of entries. Um, it is this sort of fun, realistic, yet arcadey, um, you know, off-roading game. Lots of explosions, lots of car crashes. You know, I just... This is my first time playing. Playing 20, 30 minutes. Um, I think if you play this a lot more, you could get a lot better at it, and you could learn the intricacies of the track. 
and uh, pull off some really amazing uh, moves. Oh, they're like dangling audience from a crane there. I like how my guy just straight up drove off the mountain a moment ago. Um, I think this game will appeal to people who, maybe like me, are not like super into racing games, but appreciate racing games that have a good video gamey vibe where there's lots of explosions and like unrealistic stuff. Um, it probably will also appeal to more hardcore racing fans, so I think there's a good mix in there. Of course, if you are not interested in playing a racing game, probably won't appeal to you. What do you guys think? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Do you have uh, your own thoughts, opinions, memories of this game you would like to share? If so, sound off in the comments down below. Guys, whatever you think of this game, I hope you had some fun here today. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. In peace.